What's going on, guys? So today on this Chucky review, kind of quickie, uh, we're going to take a look at the new statue I got from Diamond Selects uh, Gallery. It is the new DC Comics Dark Knight's Metal, The Drowned. That was backwards. So this is, of course, just the box. I've got her over there. Uh, so obviously it comes in the normal Batman looking thing here. I love the fact that it's like Batman color. So you got the gray, the belt, and then the bat emblem. Although they keep using that regardless of the fact he doesn't use that emblem anymore. And, you know, you got all the windows around the side. Come around to the back and you see the statue. You see Batman. I wish we could get... Um, I know somebody did one very similar to it. Where it's Batman while he's looking for the signal of the uh, the nth metal, trying to figure out what's going on, and he's got uh, Baby Darkseid strapped to his back. That I think somebody made that statue, but I don't think it's Diamond Select. But either way, so there you got her, and you got to read up on Earth Eleven, Negative Eleven, in the Dark Multiverse. Bryce Wayne, aka Batwoman, lost her lover to an attack by rogue metahumans. She vowed to wipe them out, ultimately killing every last superpower being on land, but when Aquawoman and Atlantis declared war on the surface world, flooding Gotham City, Batwoman performs surgeries to make herself breathe underwater, survive great depths, and summon her own race of sea creatures, the Dark Water, which are terrifying. Uh, defeating Atlantis, taking the trident of Aquawoman, she is recruited to join an assault on our world as the Drowned. She's one of the more interesting versions of the Dark Knights. Uh, one, because it's uh, it's the uh, the flipped version. Uh, you know, the gender-swapped version. So it's Batwoman, it's Bryce Wayne. She was with um, Sylvester... Um, I guess I just took a... Uh, uh, Kyle. Sylvester Kyle. So the uh, Catman. If I had to guess, he's Catman. Uh... <laughs> so that, that's kind of funny. Uh, but very interesting. So a tragic backstory. Kind of like Batman. So, But the fact she studied Atlantean physiology and stuff like that. Had herself genetically and physically altered to become like an Atlantean. But with some extra powers. Like the ability to create the dark water zombies. So anybody she kills turns into part of her army. She becomes like a... They become, like, these weird fish zombie people. And, like, they can really convert them. And spoilers, at one point, in our main uh, Earth, Earth 1, or Prime, whatever you want to call it in this version, um, she is going after Aquaman. And, of course, Mira is there. And she actually manages to defeat and transform Mira into this giant sea beast that uh, she then sicks on Aquaman. So, very interesting character very interesting style as we'll see here when I flip the camera around and uh, yeah I, I dig her character I love this statue there's another version of the drowned coming out from uh, DC collectibles just like they did with uh, the Batman who laughs and even they have their own version of Red Death and Dawnbreaker Dawnbreaker is the next one I'm getting I like his character too he's really cool um, actually I like all the Dark Knights and I don't know that we're getting not gonna get all of the statues from Diamond Select because we still have the big boys. We've still got Devastator Batman. We've still got Murder Machine to go. Um, and I, I want those. And I don't like the DC Collectibles version. But enough of that. Let's jump over and look at her statue here. Alright guys. So here she is. The Drowned in all her glory. And it's a very interesting one. So uh, the original uh, Batman Who Laughs is basically standing straight up. Of course we have the Red Death kind of in a skidding across the ground. And she's actually riding her own wave. So she gained the ability to control the waters and everything like that. It's it's pretty sick, if I'm honest. Uh, I will say that the uh, the clear plastic resiny stuff here, when you pull it out of the box, oof, it still has a smell. I don't know if it's the mold release or whatever, but the smell, the, the fumes coming off of it, really had an effect on me and not like got me high or anything but like killed my sinuses i had a really bad headache the next day um so it does have that smell going on even now like it's got a little bit of it on there i can feel it and i can smell it on my fingers but it's not in the air like it filled my room uh honestly like i couldn't be in here the day after i i pull her out of the box but i like the fact they cast this all in the clear blue it looks awesome uh you do get the tentacles 
here for whatever particular beast that she's got coming out. And they are weathered nicely. She's also weathered very nicely. And like I said, she's kind of a zombie in a way. You can see her skin is all gray and like... It, it's a very weird version, to say, to, to say the least. Hold on, i got to raise the camera up just a little bit here. Um, so she's got a very interesting, almost like piratey kind of wear going on here. So she's got her tattered skirt. She's got her big, long boots. She's got her uh, bodice there, or um, sword I'm looking here. Not like a bustier, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But you got some nice goldish kind of color there, a little brass or bronze. And then her jacket, which has the purple lining on the inside, almost like the Joker. So she's got green. She's wearing a lot of green, which is interesting. Uh, but she does have the black here around the neck. It's almost like a gorget. Uh, and then she's got her own little bat emblem there that's very different. It's almost a throwback thing. She's got her little mechanical eyepiece here, which I don't know exactly what that's doing. But it's a nice gold or brass color and then a little bit of red there on the thing and you've got her little ears coming out the top of it so it's a very interesting take and you got her hair flowing in the back along with the way the cape or jacket rather is flapping and it has a really nice leather texture i'll zoom in here so you can see it but overall it's awesome the only problem i have with this thing is how long the trident is look at this it <laughs> I think it should cut off like here because actually it was down here close to her heel and it was curving. So I ended up tucking it back this way. So it's not actually doesn't really have a whole lot of pressure on it. But uh, yeah, it's a great figure. And oh, yep, they, they did sculpt her butt. And they, I was just like, did they really go that far? They did. Um, I really dig the weathering there on the back. It just looks good. And she doesn't necessarily look wet. I guess maybe her hair has a little bit of sheen to it like she's really in the water. But I digs it. I digs it a lot. Especially the uh, the wave is actually really, really cool. Let's see here. Here's the Wally Meister for some height comparison. And a quick comparison to the Red Death Boy. And the Boss Man. <clears throat> the Batman Who Laughs. Wow, I kicked the camera, not to once, but twice. I'm doing good. So, that's pretty cool. So, that's my Dark Knights collection so far. Like I said, I'm getting Dawnbreaker. And then he's kind of the last one for now. Like I said, until we get something along the lines of getting Devastator, Batman, Murder Machine. Oh, I knew I forgot somebody. Uh, the Merciless. So, there is no version of the Merciless either. But, like I said, DC Collectibles has those, but I'm not really digging their designs. Plus, Devastator Batman is a little expensive because he's so much bigger than everybody else. But, uh, guys, if you like this statue, if you like this review, give me a big ol' thumbs up. You should see the thingy on the screen if I remember to put it there. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around and see all the new cool stuff I'm doing on this channel, which is really the same old stuff I did on the other channel. <laughs> but I'm just doing it over here uh, for no money. Uh, speaking of that, if you want to help support the channel, by all means, check out the Patreon, check out the Shoki gear, uh, because honestly, with this channel not being monetized for God knows how long, it may never get monetized, I can definitely use the help. My patrons are doing good work over there, even though only I have a handful. So, of course, you can uh, be a patron, much like uh, Steel Angel John, Thomas Rice, and Megan Summer, who all choose to help out the channel and i appreciate that guys because really it's at this point it's going to go to being able to do stuff for this channel <laughs> the second uh, the main channel kind of kind of makes its money just every now and then so anyways i'll catch you guys on the next review and remember as always to keep on nerding and now i've got to figure out where to put her on the shelf <laughs> bye guys